we got picked to compete for a million dollars in the most prestigious startup competition in the world. It's called the Holt Prize, and we were selected as the top 100 startups out of over 10,000 submissions to compete in Boston for the world prize of a million dollars. Throughout this video, you'll see what it's like to prep for something this big and the other competitions along the way. And that's not even the craziest part of the video, so make sure to stick around and see what's coming. Like us being broadcasted live on TV for the Passion Pitch competition since we were selected as a top three collegiate startup in the entire state of Pennsylvania. My goal is to help the millions of people around the world who are suffering from arthritis and chronic pain to be able to live a happy and healthy lifestyle without having to take any pain medicine or opioids. So come along and see what it's like recording live on TV for a million dollars. You need to throw your gun out before you said. Yeah, I will. It's game day. So cool. This is where I'm doing the next challenge. It's cool because you come over here and you can see me. All the cameras. Alright, they call that a problem. So, you want to put that behind you. So, go ahead and put it where you would like to put it. And then let's take a look at our lights. I just want to make sure I don't hit any lights on the way over. Are you going to refer to it or is this going to be this behind you? This is kind of like an extra thing in the back I want to have. I mean, yeah, I do refer to it with the, uh, when I talked about our capsule. So, uh, yeah, Chitty County. Oh. Next to you or? Yes, please. please. That would be perfect, actually. Why don't you put it on quick? So, uh, before you do that, let's just kind of talk over the program. So, Steve, the video is going to go in at the word kinesiology. So, you said okay. it's about two minutes in? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And we have the most recent video, the one that I forwarded this morning. Yeah, it's right? like about 20 seconds. Yeah. And that's the one that you went in. Yes, please. Okay. So, yeah. let's talk about the demo. Kind of, can you show us exactly how you're going to do it while sure. you're on air? Yeah. So, it'll be like. So, I'll say something. I'll be like, I don't want my mom to suffer. So, I created Lectra. And with just one non invasive session of this exact prototype you see here, and then I'll do it like that. Like it'll go. But you're going to be wearing it. I'll be wearing it while I'm talking the whole time. Okay. That's, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. And so then, you're going to put it on before you Yeah, start. I was going to put it on right now. Okay. I'm just trying to undo it. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure. It is a miracle worker. I'm a testament to it. <laughs> Let's see. So your plan is, so this is how you're going to start the presentation, correct? You're going to start with where you know, at the beginning, and then what are you going to show during the presentation? In terms of physically or like? Yeah, are you going to hold any of these things up? Yeah, so at the end, I'll be like, we'll use the $10,000 competition funds, well, with the ten, blah, 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 we'll use $6,000 to take this wired prototype you see here and create our fully wireless prototype, which we've already started building, and then we'll be able to scale it to one-sixth the size of this. And then the rest of the fourth, blah, blah, and that's going to be it. show tonight is live, so you'll be coming in. Since you're the second person to go, the first competitor will be going out, and you're coming in during a commercial break, and they'll have to get you set up during that time period. Okay. So we just need to be very efficient in terms of setting yeah. up. Do you want me to have this back on when they ask me the questions, or is that like? Um, it's up to you. I mean, because it's going to go from the video to the, the MC back to the live q &A. Do you need the table for the Q&A portion? No. Potentially, it's depending on what questions they ask, but prob I'm guessing no. But I don't know. It depends. Cause if they're asking specific questions about the product, then I'll probably like just kind of give it to them, mm -hmm. or just yeah. I'd probably just walk over and put it on their table. Am I looking across here? What's the mind first? Will I ever get better? Am I going to need surgery? How am I going to work? These are all the same questions my mom asked. She did a non-invasive session of this exact prototype you see right here. My mom was able to go to Zumba and run pain-free for the first time in 10 years. Conductive threading, separating it from anything else on the entire market. We also have a customizable and detachable capsule that we created. I invite you to join us in this incredible journey to empower patients and people to pave their own path to recovery by creating the most effective rehab tool in the world and helping my mom and millions of others recover smarter.
Hold it for... He hit that like perfectly too in the video. We ended up getting second in the competition, which means we were a top two startup in the entire state of Pennsylvania. It was a bummer that we lost and we got second place, but at the same time, we got $5,000. And one thing that was at the top of my bucket list was to get a giant check for something. And we have two now. One from the Baylor New Venture competition, where we were national runner-ups for $2,500. And now, Pennsylvania runners-up for the Pashi State Startup Competition for $5,000. And this was all in the last two months. I also realized shortly afterwards that they don't directly give us the money for this competition that we won the 5,000. We have to spend it and then they reimburse us. It was such a pain and a headache to keep track of all the patent costs, development costs, consulting costs, and being able to send all the statements over to get the money back on top of fundraising. But now is when we compete for the million dollar prize. The Clinton Foundation runs a massive global startup competition called the Whole Prize, where they have 12 summit competitions across the entire world where college startups compete for the global prize of a million dollars. There were tens of thousands of submissions, and we were one of the top 100 startups in the world. And they go around the sustainability goals of the United Nations, and this year was around redesigning fashion. And each year, there's billions and billions of pounds of clothes that are just left around in third world countries, and the fast fashion epidemic is continuing to increase. So we took lecture on what we have with our fabrics and we re-engineered our pitch to fit within the sustainability goals around fashion. And I didn't think it would work, but we ended up getting picked for the global semifinals in Boston. They give a million dollars to the winner and a hundred thousand dollars to the five runner-ups. I know it's a long shot, but I've been an underdog all my life. Let's do this. It's 2.32 in the morning. We're driving directly to Westchester, dropping Aaron off, driving back to my house moving out of my house in Westchester, and then we're pretty much driving right to Boston. We've been driving for like 15 hour, no, 13 hours straight, 12 hours straight so far. Yeah. We got four more hours, and then I have 30 minutes to drive back, and then straight to unpacking, get like two or three hours of sleep, finish the pitch deck, start finalizing all the pitch stuff for the competition, and then we're driving straight to Boston, which is five hours. Again, this is like more of the, I guess, the realistic view of this shit, where people glorify all of it, and you'll see Iman Gazi smoking cigars in his Bugatti in Dubai. That's not 99.99999% of people. I'm exhausted. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> That's all. We've been on the road nonstop, and I absolutely love it. Now we're packed up, ready to go to Boston. We literally booked a uh, hotel last night. And this is for the whole prize world semifinal. Super excited. Uh, we're making a, a pretty much a compostable bamboo for sustainability and then adding technology into it. And then RFID tracking for everything to be able to make the process more green. I'm with Erin again. I literally <laughs> moved out of my house yesterday, went back to her house, and we spent the night there just working and getting ready to go today. Boston's a five and a half hour drive, I think, from here. If you guys are interested in the journey, interested in where we're going, first of all, you can check out the website below. I have it linked. You can sign up for updates. You can sign up for pre-orders. Super exciting there. Officially starting to get some pre-orders in. And then, um, I just appreciate everybody following, subscribing, doing anything you have to do, stay updated with the journey. You got anything to say? Lecture to the moon. <laughs> All right, so we officially got to Boston. We checked into the hotel, we just dropped the car off, and then we're gonna go back, get a little bit of food, stop at Starbucks, and then we have dinner reservations at Yvonne's, and then we're going back, and we're practicing the pitch the entire time tonight until we can't pitch anymore because we got a million dollars in the lot. This city is so sick. It's like, it's exactly like the first time I went to Tampa. I couldn't stop smiling when I got <laughs> there, and this feels the exact same way. I feel about being here. I feel good. I'm really excited. <laughs> really hungry. <laughs> oh, it looks like an old room. Oh, that's a nice bathroom. <laughs> we went to dinner. We went to two dinners, actually, kind of. <laughs> so dinner one, I got wings. We just got water. It was like downstairs in the hotel. And then we went to this place called Yvonne's. We spent like 
way too much money for not that much food. But it was the coolest restaurant I think I've ever been to, like the aesthetic. I felt like I was in like a museum or like a Hollister re uh, store. It was super cool, but now we're just grinding out the pitch. It's only four minutes. The other one's usually like between 10 to 15, so this one should be piece of creme brulee. <laughs> Let them know. All right, camera's about to die. We're gonna go to the whole school right now. And we got our first round of interviews, speakers, food, you name it, workshops. And then from there, we're just practicing the pitch. Getting her done. Welcome. All right, this is the start of everything. It's the first meeting. We didn't win the million dollars, but we knew it was a long road ahead of us. I spent a week in Florida with Aaron, pitching for funding, figuring out our problems, and completely redesigning Lecture's pitch for this. In order to be great, you have to continuously do great things and sacrifice tons of time for what you believe in. But let's recap. We did secure $2,500 from the Baylor New Venture competition, $5,000 from the Pashi Pennsylvania competition, and $11,000 from eFest. And this was all within two months. Not to mention that all of the money from EFAS came directly from the founder of Best Buy, Mr. Dick Schultz. Now I'm graduated and competing for angel and venture capitalist money, and this completely shifts the game. But without these pitch competitions, we wouldn't be anywhere close to where we are today. And the coolest part about this is we raised $25,000 and didn't have to give up 1% of the company. Remember, this is just the beginning. If you're interested in investing in Electra or our Kickstarter, you can contact us directly from our website or sign up for updates for our newsletter where we send it out the first of every month. I appreciate all of you watching this video and the fact that there's so many people sending me messages, helping the community continue to grow and just being a positive influence in the entire community overall is the fueling fire for me to continue to keep getting up every single day and working on this, not to mention being an advocate of change. So don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, do whatever you have to do to stay updated with the channel because as you all know who have been watching these videos, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I appreciate everyone watching and I will catch you in the next video. Lecture tomorrow.